TYT is partnering with participant media to help solve the climate crisis. Wouldn't that be great? Now look, you gotta check out our series, 10 Days of Action, to learn more about what you can do to make a difference. And go see an inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power in theaters in New York and LA on July 28th and nationwide August 4th. Researchers from the University of Jerusalem have looked into sperm count. Because there has been a lot of disagreement in the world of science regarding sperm count. And there is one side that agrees that sperm count has gone down considerably for men over the last few decades. And then there are those who deny it. Well, this research done by the Hebrew University of Jerusalem found some pretty shocking evidence that male sperm count is decreasing in certain parts of the world. So sperm count in men from North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand declined by 50 50 to 60% between 1973 and 2011. And that's according to this study from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. But surprisingly, there was no decline in sperm counts in men from Asia, Africa, and South America, although there was limited data from these areas. Now, just to give you a sense of how this analysis was done, it was a meta analysis that looked at 42,935 men in 50 different countries. And they didn't um, study why sperm count has decreased so much, but they did hypothesize about it. So we'll get to that in just a second. Okay, so that's devastating. Mm-hmm. And we should redirect all of our resources to figuring out exactly why. Right. So those are not small numbers, those are gigantic numbers. But luckily, they're not happening everywhere, which actually allows us to be able to study it. I hope far more effectively. Mm-hmm. What is happening in this in these regions of the world that is not happening in the other regions of the world? So if this continues, the results could be way worse. So yeah, and and, and <clears throat> there's. I'm going to show you yeah. how bad that it could be if we don't do anything about it. Um, so. If, uh, if the data on sperm counts is extrapolated to its logical conclusion, men will have little or no reproductive capacity from 2060 onwards. That's humanity challenging. That's you. Every once in a while, politicians will talk, will talk about existential threats. Mm-hmm. And then it'll actually be a tiny, like, I don't wanna minimize terrorism, but more people die from falling off of ladders than they do from terrorism. Mm-hmm. We should absolutely address it, but they will come out and say it's an existential threat. You know, we're all, you know, we're all going to pass away. We're all going to disappear. Whatever. Right. No, no. This is an actual existential threat. If we can't make other humans, we don't exist anymore. So, are we doing anything about the ladders, though? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that I feel mean? like we've, we haven't really advanced in ladder technology in quite some time. But anyway, we'll okay. talk about that some other day. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you, but if you discount science and you say, no, nah, I don't believe it. I don't believe in all these different things, like whether it's 97% of the world scientists telling you it's climate change or or the the age of the earth. I mean, the list goes on and on. and yeah. and the. And you defund science. Well, then we can't figure out what's going wrong, and 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 God help us, or in this case, science help us. Otherwise, we're doomed. Yeah. So um, let's let's talk about what the researchers here hypothesize, because I think that's incredibly important. Um, so they believe that exposure to chemicals uh, could be one of the issues. Um, obesity rates is another issue uh, that they want to look into um, as a potential cause for this. And then finally, uh, climate change. And climate change, of course, uh, you deal with extreme leather, or weather conditions and things I like, like that. I like the so. idea of extreme leather conditions. <laughs> At some s and parties, there are extreme leather conditions you have to deal with. Okay, anyway. so tell me about the climate change. Why in this case? So they they don't know exactly why, but extreme weather conditions could play a role. And so they haven't hashed it out. As I mentioned, that's not something that they studied. But these are potential factors that they want to do more studies on, so they can figure out what's really happening and why it is that you know men in in a certain part of the world aren't really suffering from this. I know. It. And yeah. Okay. I think I honestly, and I'm not an expert, and obviously I'm just guessing, so take this with a grain of salt. I think that the use of chemicals probably has something to do with this. Yeah, no, it's, that's exactly where I'm going with the speculation. So uh, obviously I want them to actually do tests, I believe in science and figure out what the re- reality of it is. Climate change to me seems less likely because that seems to hit the world 
fairly proportionately. Mm -hmm. So climate change affects Asia, I think, pretty much as much as it affects North America. So I'd be surprised if that was the answer. O obesity. I think obesity might have something to do with it as well. It, it, it might, but um, it, and, and maybe that it's both. Maybe it's the chemicals uh, that lead to obesity, whether it's whatever we're consuming, high fructose corn syrup, GMOs. I don't know. I'm not saying it's definitely GMOs. Don't freak out. Pharmaceutical okay. drugs that could be a potential. <laughs> There's a issue. we take a lot more drugs here than than they do in Asia, as an example. But these are all. Wild conjecture. Let's yeah. let's go. Let, you know, and what do we fund, right? Right. And so we're worried about. Oh my God, are we going to do funding for a tiny amount of health care for trans uh, gendered people in the military? Uh, no, and forget about that. We're talking we're, about funding to the tune of like seventy billion dollars. That border wall. Right, that might be transparent because you've got to make sure you can see those like cartels, you know, trying to toss the sixty pounds of drugs over the wall. You know, you got, you got to see through the wall. Yeah, the F 35s <laughs> that waste the money, all the wars that waste the money. Our defense budget is gargantuan, and Trump wants to add fifty four billion dollars. I'm not trying to make it political. I'm just saying, if the if the future of humanity is on the line, we might want to giddy up a little bit and spend more in this direction. Right. Can you imagine if we actually spend spent money to protect humanity instead of creating more wars? I know, revolutionary thought. Okay, look, if if everything else didn't motivate you, your balls are on the line. So get going, your kids are on the line. Everything is. It's not if these numbers are true, it's not over exaggerating to say that.